Here's a tutorial on how you can make ChatGPT post to your Facebook or all of your social media without you ever coming up with a content idea or having to manually post anything. So let's get into it. You can see over here that this is a post on my Facebook page. It's about AI, which is my niche, and I didn't write it. Um, the ChatGPT did, uh, and I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna use a system called make.com. I'm just gonna shrink myself here. Put you over here, girlfriend. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do is create a scenario and it's really easy to do. You're gonna just create a scenario. And the first one that you're going to use is the RSS feed tool. So the RSS feed is a website that allows you to basically scrape the whole internet for different topics that are related to your niche. Um, you can see here, um, how to use it. So basically you would select a new feed. We're going to do for this example, real estate. Oops. And it's going to look on the internet and find all the related topics to real estate and what's going on. And you're going to be able to just take basically an HTML code and you're going to be able to put it into make.com. So that is going to be the trigger um, in your make.com to create a new piece of content. So you can see here, Las Vegas Realtors apologize, drama, um, and all of that. So we can save this feed. It's gonna pop up over here, over here. Um, and then we're gonna just copy it. We're gonna go to our make scenario and we're going to say watch RSS feed items. The reason that we're gonna say watch is so that it knows when something new is posted. Maximum returned items, you're gonna leave it at one. So then it gives you a couple different options. So RSS feed items after a specific date. I like to choose this one just so that we're like backdating a little bit so that there is content to work with. You don't have to go too far. Press okay. Boop. So then you wanna make sure that this is working. So what you do is hit run once. And Jason Oppenheimer from Selling Sunset, Valis's real estate agents. Okay, so that's a topic, I guess, in this category. So now that we have a piece of, like we have a content piece that we can work off of, the next one that we're going to generate is a ChatGPT bubble or ChatGPT module, I should say. So we're gonna go down here to create a completion. And this is basically gonna send this article to ChatGPT and you're gonna ask ChatGPT to summarize it for you. I'll give you two pro tips. You're gonna to wanna to name these bubbles or the modules as you're going along so that you don't forget what they're doing, right? So we're gonna rename it to uh, ChatGPT uh, Summary. So that way when, you'll see in the future um, why this is important. Hey, why didn't you work? summary. Um, and then you're also going to want to hit the save button. So for some reason, make.com does not save automatically. And this can be the worst thing ever if you do a bunch of work and then it's like deleted. So don't let that happen to you. Let's move me over and shrink me. I'm too big and my makeup looks crazy. Okay. So in our ChatGPT bubble, we are going to choose create a chat completion. Then we're gonna select the model we wanna use. I use four zero, it's good enough. Um, you could also use zero one. It's just gonna be a little bit more expensive. So if you have never connected your API key to anything, you're going to have to do that in OpenAI and I'll make another video on how you can do that. It's not very complicated. Um, it does use tokens, you can see that here. And tokens are basically like credits and they are not free, but they go a long way. So I think I put $35 into my ChatGPT account like ages ago and there's still like $30 left and I've used this a billion times. So it's super affordable. Anyway, so then you're going to add a message. The role is going to be user. And in this bubble is basically where you're going to put your prompt. So over here, you can see I've already made up my prompt. So you are a real estate expert. Um, so what we want it to do is your task is to summarize the article from the RSS field. So you're going to copy and paste this. I'm going to put all of this in my um, description for you guys so that you don't have to make up your own. Sometimes making up the prompts for this stuff is what actually takes the longest. So I got that done for us. So then we're just gonna find over here the URL. So you can see here, like just right here, it says like the Jason Hopenheimer. So you know that um, the RSS feed is pulling the data. Um, and so what this means over here is you're a real estate expert, social media, blah, blah, blah. Your task, summarize this specific article. That's what that URL little button means. And it's super important because if you don't put it in, it's not gonna pull the information from the RSS feed, which is 
you know, the whole point. So, alrighty, and then we're gonna go down here, your max tokens, that can be whatever. Um, we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna hit save. What we're gonna do is a router tool. So this is going to split the data in two different directions so that we can do different things. But we first wanna make sure that our, um, like this is all functioning, right? So we're gonna run it once. And you can see here, we have a little bubble and we have an RSS feed green, like this has changed to green and this is also green. So green is good usually. So let's check. We have, um, there's the article that it's pulling from our RSS feed, remember? And then our ChatGPT, did you summarize it? So North Dakota recently spent blah, blah, blah on a real estate commitment. Great. That sounds like a relevant piece of content. Okay. So now that it's summarized, we're going to send it over. So these are going to be ChatGPT modules as well. So go in here, open your ChatGPT, um, same steps as before, create a completion. The only thing that's going to be different in this ChatGPT bubble is we're going to get more specific on what we need it to do. So we are going to be posting to Facebook. So this one is going to be specific to Facebook. So again, we're going to choose four zero, no biggie. Good enough. Um, and then we're gonna make the user, if the computer, catch up with my mouth, come on, bud. All right, <laughs> so add a message, the role is gonna be user, um, the text here. So this is what I was telling you earlier, how you wanna like name your ChatGPT bubbles. So you can see here, summary. So this is what that is. So this is the this is where you're pulling all the data from for this specific prompt. So you can pull it from the ChatGPT from before and you wanna name it summary because when you get into this and you have a ton of different modules, it can get really confusing because you're like, okay, which one is this? And anyway, so just name them as you go, do yourself a favor and don't forget to save. Um, okay. So text content, we are going to go over here. I have my prompt. This is a more specific prompt to this specific social media platform that we want to use. So more, more of the same though. Um, but it does say here that you are making content for Facebook. This is going to tell the chat GPT that you need to make a specific piece of content for Facebook. Okay, so you wanna pull the, the summary, right? This is where it gets, like this is super important. So you're gonna go here, down under, where am I? Choices, and then you're gonna go message, and then you're gonna hit content. And that's gonna pull the summary that we just made. You can see here, remember when I read it, it was North Dakota, whatever. Um, so that's super important. It's a little convoluted and you kind of just have to remember where it is under here or just click everything until you find it. Um, okay. So making sure that our prompt looks good. It's a little jammed in there because I copied and pasted it and you can organize this a little bit better. Like you can type directly in here. No problem. Um, copy and paste works fine too. Um, okay. So tokens, no biggie. Okay. So let's run it again, but we're gonna save. Okay. So run it once. Little bubble, good, little bubble, okay. So you see how it sent the data over here and now it's working. So this should be a ready to post Facebook post, I guess. So struggling to keep blah, blah, blah in the real estate market. So it's kind of addressing the audience um, and then it goes into talking about a solution. That's great, especially for educational content. I like that post, I'm fine with that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is attach our Facebook right in here. Okay, let's type normal. Facebook, um, you're gonna have to connect your Facebook if you've never done this before, and I have a low battery, awesome. Um, if you've never done it before, just connect your Facebook, it's super easy. Um, so we're gonna click create a post, and in here, we're gonna select my page, and the message is going to be the result, okay? And then you hit okay, and we're gonna run it once, and if all is well, I should have a post that is live on my Facebook. So let's go see. We're gonna refresh. There she is, that's me. The real estate game is changing. If you're not leveraging AI, blah, 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 blah. All set. So that's how you get it to post to your Facebook. And now you go back into your make.com and you can set how often you want it to run. So obviously you're not gonna post to your Facebook every 15 minutes, that would be crazy. So you're gonna select every day, weekdays, I don't know, days of the month, whatever you want. And this is just gonna run forever in the background. You don't have to come up with a piece of content, you don't have to come up with a topic, you don't have to post anything and you don't have to write anything. I mean, that's pretty epic. So you can take this a step further and you can also get it to post to your other social medias. Um, I will walk you through that. So the same, same thing, you're gonna do your OpenAI chatbot, you're gonna create a specific 
prompt that is going to be to that specific platform. So if you're going to be doing, let's say, um, an X post, you're going to make sure that your prompt specifies that you want to post to X. I don't use that platform, but maybe you do. And maybe that would be good for your business to post there. So you're going to copy and paste your prompt. Um, so we're going to change this. You are content for X aligned with the message. Okay. Next, you're going to find your, is it called Twitter still? No, I, I was X formally okay so yeah so formally twitter you can create a post bam now it's going to post to your twitter a specific um to the content topic that we originally found in the rss it's going to change it make the summary good for a Twitter or X post, okay? And you can add to your router so we can spread this out because these days there's like a lot of platforms to be posting to. And you're gonna do the same thing you did before, create a completion. Um, this time we could attach it to our Instagram or you could attach it to your Pinterest. Um, LinkedIn as well is an option. So you kind of get the gist of it. I'm not going to go through the ChatGPT bubble over and over again, but um, just specify that these ones here are for the specific platform that you're trying to post to. So that it's not trying to make a Facebook post for Pinterest because that would be silly. Um, but yeah, you can put your Pinterest here and you can create a pin. You can upload your images. Um, that's a little bit more complex, but it's totally doable. And yeah, you could attach your Instagram as well if you wanted to. And now you have an automation that is posting every day, every other day, whatever you want to all of your social media. And it's pulling relevant top of the top of the news cycle um, content for your business. It's rewriting it and it's perfectly tailoring it to your ideal client and what you're trying to get out of your social media, which could be a plethora of things. I don't know what you need to post on social media for, but let's go and attach our Instagram. It's the same process that you you did for the Facebook. It's the same thing. And our tokens. Okay. Oh, sorry. And our role is user text content. We're going to put in our prompt again but we're going to say Instagram, okay. And then we're going to attach our Instagram. And there's so many cool things that you can do, but um, we're going to just create a post or create a comment even, that's cool. and my Instagram is all linked up there it is photo URL so you can attach the photo that you want to uh, like go along with this um, post so that it's not just text we can't just post text to Instagram as we know um, and you could just put a URL there um, to to have your photo post with it so yeah that's how you get your social media game up automated and using ai to basically alleviate your workload and keep you super consistent so i've got all the prompts down here in the uh, bio i also have a link to this system which is make.com which is free to use which is crazy and yeah i'm gonna give you guys all of that stuff down here in the description and of course of course if you found this helpful please drop me a like and a subscribe. I'm teaching you how to automate your business using AI and see you later.